Hello, my name is Maysun Chan, and on my YouTube channel and on my blog, www.curvingtowardthecenter.com, I'm going to go through a lot of different embodied meditations. Now, what is an embodied meditation? You know, like, when you think of meditation, you think of mostly minds and thoughts, right? Uh, clearing your mind, uh, which is great. It's a great place to start, but that doesn't always go into the body. Uh, and so what we're going to be doing with these embodied med meditations is taking what the relaxation and the spaciousness that's going on in the mind when you meditate and bringing that into the body. Uh, I don't know if you know any different languages. Um, I am mixed race. I am Chinese, Polish, and I know different levels of Spanglish, Franklish, and Chinglish. But I know enough to know that translating is hard work. Number one, there's usually not an exact equivalent of words and phrases and meanings from one language to another. Something always gets lost in translation. And it takes a lot of energy to translate one thought into another thought, into a different language. And I think that's the same with the body and the mind. So for instance, if I say, Mason, you need to relax. <sighs> okay, my brain is working. Mason, you need to relax, you need to relax. But the body has to translate that from the words into the language of the body. Or I could maybe not even use words at all. And instead, and breathe and exhale slowly and maybe rock myself. Well now, I'm using the language of the body to speak to the body, to say, May sun, relax. So we're gonna be doing a number of embodied meditations, kind of getting at meditating in, in a different way and using it in the holistic sense. Sometimes we'll use words and sometimes we won't. So I'll start you off with uh, one of mine that's uh, really helpful for me when I am feeling empty or feeling sad or sometimes I don't even know what I need but I need something kind of a thing um, and it's called uh, filling the heart embodied meditation so come join me so get comfortable uh, either in a chair or on the floor uh, get seated and just really I invite you to take a couple of good cleansing breaths. No need to force it, just in and out. Okay. And now, as you sit with your eyes open or your eyes closed, as you wish, uh, we're going to do a filling the heart meditation. And it doesn't require any words at all. Because sometimes it's really hard to put life experiences or your feelings into words. And so sometimes we don't have to use them at all. We use the body. So we're gonna sit and kind of clear ourselves. And as you take note and take stock of your life and where you're at right now, what does your heart need? What does your heart need? And just ask yourself that. What do you need, heart? What can I give you? And you know, your heart might say things like love, acceptance, tenderness, companionship lonely, right? Um, your heart can say all sorts of things. Also, you may find that you don't have a specific word, but you have that feeling. And that's okay, too. You do not need to put a word to that sensation and that feeling. Now, imagine, so, so you have this right here. You know, you have this stuff going on in your heart area and what you need. Now imagine out in front of you 
There is the divine essence. There is a higher power, that which is the provisions of your ancestors. Uh, some might say God or spirit. However you choose, it's this limitless abundance and it's rooted in love. Okay, and that's this out here at about arm's length. And so, you're going to have one hand over your heart. And when you're ready, and you can do this with your eyes open or your eyes closed, you're just going to go and gently take that love, that companionship, that acceptance. You're going to take that from that eternal source and you're going to put it in your heart and do it tenderly like you would tenderly take bring over slowly in the language of the body calming And exhale and gently press it into your heart so nothing falls out everything is exactly where it needs to be and just take again and gently place it or press it into your heart and you can sit in this position as long as you need. What does it feel like to have that need be filled, that hole be filled as you fill your heart? And I think an important part of this is that we take what we need. So many times we're afraid to take what we need. We're afraid to name what we need. Sometimes we're even afraid to even say that we have needs. Um, to even admit to ourselves that we have needs. Um, and I think it's really important in healing to not just acknowledge that, hey, I'm a human being, I have needs, but to go and lovingly, actively seek out and take it in that we're not waiting for someone to come rescue us. We're not waiting for a magic wand. It takes action and it takes intention and it sometimes takes work to go after what you need, to take it, and to lovingly place it in your heart. So we'll do this a couple more times. And again, you might not even know what it is that you need. All of this is something in your body. When you place it gently in your heart, your body just relaxes, you exhale, and there's a yes. One last time, gently. And there's always more. This is the source of infinity, of eternity. It is limitless. You could do this all day for 70 years if you wish. There's always more. And again, sit with that moment, however long you need, with any part of this action, from the gentle taking to the transitioning over, to the gentle filling of the heart. Thanks for joining me. My name is May Sun Chan. I'm at www.curvingtowardthecenter.com. And of course, you can find me on YouTube. Thanks.